What's up guys, Elliot here from Venom Films coming at you with another tutorial and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a realistic explosion composition in HitFilm 4 Express. Now before we begin I have two things to say. Firstly, a shout out to HitFilm Wizard, a great channel. They have some great tutorials on there as well. And also thank you for 50 subscribers. Now for this effect, all you're going to need is a explosion, which you can get off the internet. I like Footage Crate, which is a great website. Lots of free effects on there. If you sign up, you get like five free effects each day, which is definitely worth it. Or if you want to pay the sites like um, Action VFX or Roadie Police, all the action essentials to I think from Video Copilot which is also great. Now this is part one. In part one I'm going to be showing you how to make a realistic explosion composition shot and in part two I'm going to be showing you how to make realistic fire which is going to be also very interesting so that will be coming out next week. So without further ado let's get on to the tutorial. Yes so as you can see I am now in Hit Film for Express so first what you want to do is just put in your composite settings which is fairly easy and then just click Apply. So for this I've just got a clean background of um, just a field and where I want the explosion and I also have a explosion from footage crate which is explosion 28 if you want to put this one on. Now you'll notice that this explosion the background is already see-through so I don't need to do anything but if the background was black what I would want to do is put the demult effect which is just drag that on and it will turn, turn all the background from get rid of the background that's black. So first what you want to do is position the explosion where you want it in the frame. I'm going to make mine a little smaller but keep the same like proportions so I'll press shift and move it in and then just position it. I'd say about there and I'm also going to rotate it just a little bit to about there. I'm also going to make sure the explosion comes in when I want it to, so about there. And then I'm just going to change the end so there. That looks about right. Now first things we're going to do to make this explosion look more realistic is add a glow to this top layer. And we're going to change the intensity to about 0.5 and you can like change the threshold to about oh I'd say about 27 20 to 30 percent and the radius you want quite a big radius so just basically fiddle around with these settings until you've got something that you like and next what I'm going to add is a bit of a curves adjustment so as you can see here we have this straight line and what we're going to do is like make a little S in that and as you see we could, if we pull it up it will blow it out much more. So I'm just going to adjust this until I like it. So about there. So and you don't want to have them like really dramatic curve otherwise it will just ruin the effect. So one of the best ways to sell an effect is make the effect mix in with the background which makes more depth which creates a more realistic effect. Now one of the ways that we can do this is by first of all duplicating the background layer and then I'm just going to rename that background layer uh, explosion glow. You can just call that whatever you want. And now on this layer what we're going to do is turn the temperature um, up to about there. And now what we're going to do is click the mask tool, scroll to zoom in, and just mask around where you think the glow would effect the background and there as you can see we've connected that up. I'm also going to do a add a another mask 
around the bottom. Now these don't have to be too neat as we will be um, feathering them in a second. So there we go. We have our two layers. So first what we want to do with these is feather them. So feathering basically means they like blend in better. So you're gonna go to the shape and we can change stuff like the expansion. So you wanna keep that at around zero. Oh, there we go. And next is the feather. We want to do that both in and out. And we're gonna put, turn the feather strength up quite a bit, but not too much. Still about, oh, I think well, that looks quite good. And we're also gonna change the roundness of the, to make it a bit more realistic, about there. Now I'm gonna do the other one, I'll be back in a second. Now once I've done both of them, I can't have these, um, on all the time as it's only when the explosion is so what I'm going to do is keyframe them so they just come on when the explosion happens so if I go to the start of my timeline and on the masks we're going to go to the one that says transform and then oh transform and the opacity I'm going to keyframe that at the start to be at zero percent and then we're gonna, with the control and then the arrow keys, we can move on frame by frame till when the explosion starts. I'm gonna have a little bit at the start. And then once the explosion's in full flow, we're going to turn that up to a hundred percent. And then we're gonna want that after a while, we're gonna want this to fade out as you can see the smoke starts to come. So about there, we're going to want it to fade out. And I'm going to do the same, I'm going to repeat the same process now with the other one. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so now I have done that, what I'm going to do is render this out. And the reason I'm going to render this out now is because when I add the camera shake in, we want them all to be in the same position. So we're just gonna go to the export and render that out and call it something like, I don't know, explosion, um, no, no camera shake. Okay, so once we have um, rendered that out, we're gonna put that back into the hip film, um, make a new composition, and we're gonna go to the effect that says shake, camera shake. Now, the thing about the camera shake, you will lose a bit of quality as it has to zoom in. So at the start, I'm not gonna have any camera shake. I'm just gonna keyframe that. And then when the explosion happens, oh, back on the left. And then when the explosion happens, I'm gonna turn the camera shake up a little bit, but turn the speed down to make it look quite realistic. Now it's hard to make it look realistic straight away, but you have to do like a bit of fiddling around and then you will get something. And then you're gonna wanna keyframe those, so we'll do. So they all stop like that. Now once you've done the camera shake, you are done, but all you need to do now is add a color grade. Now I have my own color grading pack, which you can go and download. I'll leave a link to that in the description. But the one I'm gonna use is this one called Cold Action. I'm gonna drag that on, and I'm also going to drag on a letterbox, which makes it look quite realistic and cool. And you can also change how big you want the um, want the letterbox, but I just keep it on the standard. Now, once you've done that, your explosion is done. If you enjoyed this video be sure to like subscribe for more videos like this and tune in next week for part two where i show you how to composite some real fire and until next time bye